I just returned from the Atlanta Woodworking Show and I'll tell you all about my trip, all coming up right here, so stick around. Hello everyone, today is Sunday, April 3rd. Welcome to another edition of Shop Talk. My name is Mike and I'd like to welcome you to my workshop. So I spent the last two days up in Atlanta at the Atlanta Woodworking Show as part of the, the woodworking shows that travel around the country. And I was able to spend those two days just hanging out and getting to know a bunch of really awesome people, uh, content creators on YouTube as part of the Video Woodworkers group that was there. Now, if you're not familiar with this, I'll leave a link in the description. Basically, it is a group of content creators that are very well known in the YouTube community. Most of them are all about woodworking and some of them do incorporate other uh, types of uh, manufacturing or making in their content as well. But it's just some really amazing, talented individuals and I was fortunate enough that I live close enough to Atlanta. I was able to drive up early Friday morning, be there when the show opened up and spent the, that day and all day Saturday uh, in and around the booth with, with some, like I said, some really great content creators. In addition to those individuals that are part of the Video Woodworkers group, there were just dozens of other content creators that were present at the show, uh, many of which I'm sure that, that you're all familiar with and probably follow. And I'll leave links in the description to everyone that I can recall that was there. But it was also a great opportunity to spend time interacting with so many viewers that live in and around the Atlanta area that came to the show. And I'm sure that there were others that came even further as well that wanted to, to you know, meet and interact with the content creator. So that was just a really fun opportunity. I met a lot of really amazing, great people, had a, a great time talking with them, getting to know them. Many of them just watch YouTube and learn from, from things that uh, is put out there. But many of them also have channels of their own. So I was able to interact and learn about them and learn about their channels. So if you attended the show and you were one of the ones that, that came up and spoke with me. I just want to thank you uh, so much for, for doing that. It was really a great time, and I really enjoyed talking with each and every one of you. So thank you, and thanks for all of the support. Uh, again, you can visit videowoodworkers.com to learn more about the content creators that are part of this group. So while I was in Atlanta, I also had an opportunity to visit Highland Woodworking. And if you're not familiar with that, particular store. There are stores uh, around the country, but there's one in uh, pretty close to downtown Atlanta. And so I took an opportunity to stop in there. And while I was there, I ran into some of the content creators that were going to be part of the show, like, oh, I don't know, Matt Cremona, uh, Miter Mike, uh, Sterling Davis. Uh, there were several people that were just milling about in the store so immediately I was able to meet them for the first time talk with them and it was the, the best part about it was as I walked up to these folks I felt like I already knew them because um, everyone within this woodworking community is so great uh, about interacting and conversing both online and sometimes on the phone uh, with one another and so a lot of great people so I was uh, very fortunate to meet those folks. And while I was there, I did pick up a few things. Uh, one of which was this can of General Finish's Armor Seal. I've heard a lot of great things about this product and this particular finish. And I've been wanting to give it a try. So I figured while I'm here, I might as well pick up a can. So I did that. And then at the show, the woodworking show was also a trade and vendor show. And so there were booths set up all around inside the Atlanta Trade Center and I was able to take some opportunity. I'll show you uh, some video. Just walk around, uh, see some of the different vendors and look at some of the products that, that they had for sale. Um, and I did pick up a few things that I actually needed for the shop. I picked up a couple of uh, these blast gates. Uh, I use these plastic uh, blast gates in my shop and I've had I've had decent luck with them, but I also picked up a couple of these thumb screw clamps. I've uh, seen them before and thought, you know, I wanted to give them a try. I've got a couple more drops. 
uh, in my shop to make. One is my jointer and one is the big uh, beast of a bandsaw that I purchased last year. And I also picked up a, a 20 foot uh, section of clear four inch dust collection hose as well. So all things that I really needed uh, for the shop to complete those two drops and get things buttoned up. That's one of my goals in the next couple of weeks is to get time out here and button up my dust collection. I'd install it uh, when I moved in the shop and I still have some air gaps and things that I need to address. So tighten those up and really get this system fine-tuned. So what else? Well, while I was there I did <clears throat> take the selfie stick that I've used for the overhead filming and I used that to walk around the trade show to try to get some video. It was kind of hard to uh, to really spend a lot of time videoing while I was there because there were so many amazing people there that I wanted to interact with and talk with so I did manage to get a little bit of footage while I was there and I hope to try to put something together over the next few weeks uh, to share with you guys. At the trade show the uh, content creators that were there of course they had many of their uh, wares uh, on display or they also had stickers and they had some pencils for the video woodworkers uh, group on the table so I picked up a couple of those for the shop as well as uh, one of the content creators that uh, was present Deacon Woodworks super great guy had a chance to talk with him and uh, and uh, Jimmy DeResta was there and he brought some of his pencils and I thought I've got to get, get at least one of those and I'm not going to go through each one of these on this video but I have an envelope full of stickers and these represent both some of the folks that that were part of the video woodworkers group as well as other um, individuals that came up and had an opportunity to meet and talk with and so um, most of these folks that are either subscribed to my channel or I might have been subscribed to some of their channels and we had a chance to swap stickers and also some new folks that I learned about and so I'll have some new uh, channels to subscribe to as well and picked up a couple of uh, postcards from uh, Jimmy Diresta. So that's about it. Like I said, I did get some video content, a lot of photographs and hope to spend some time over the next couple of weeks putting that together in some sort of a compilation. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that. but we uh, we will see I will be working on that um, before I left to go to Atlanta I did receive some stickers in the mail so I just wanted to take a moment to go through those and this fella I actually met at the uh, at the trade show I got a sticker and a really nice note from Drew at the ox in the shop uh, Drew is just a, a really nice guy. I had a chance to sit down and talk with him, learn more about him and his channel and what he's doing with it. And I had taken a little bit of burl wood from a, a stump that I started carving up before I left on, on the big bandsaw and cut, carved a few pieces. And Drew just makes some really beautiful uh, pins. He turns pins and I gave him a small piece of, of California Buckeye burl wood. He said he could get a few uh, pin blanks out of it so I said it'd be great to see what you make with those. So great meeting you Drew. Thanks for stopping in and uh, spending time talking with me. Also got a sticker and a nice note from Nate uh, Crilly and I follow him on Instagram. Thank you Nate for that. I'll leave links uh, in the description to all of these folks as well. And I got a sticker from uh, Platinum Carpentry. I think it's uh, Platinum CNC on Instagram. So thanks for the sticker. Got a note and a sticker from Joe at Joe's Basement uh, Wood Shop. Thank you, Joe. Been looking forward to that. Joe's Basement Woodworking. And gosh, gosh, just one of my favorite content creators on YouTube, uh, Todd Clippinger sent me a couple of stickers of his new design, the, the white on the black background. I really like this design. I think it would look great on a t-shirt. Hint, hint. Love to trade t-shirts with you, Todd, if you get some made up. But Todd sent me just an awesome letter. I tell you what, if you're not following that guy, uh, you should be. Super great guy. I love interacting with 
with Todd. I also got a couple stickers from Brian Gidney at uh, Summers Woodworking. So check out Brian's channel. And a sticker from uh, Bob Lee, Bob Lee's Woodshop. Thanks, Bob. Most of these I think I have either already sent stickers to or am waiting for uh, or have have some going in the mail to them. And I got a sticker from Cy over at Cy's Corner. So thanks to every one of you for sending those stickers. Again, if you're uh, interested in a sticker of mine, feel free to send me a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address in the About tab on my channel and I would be happy to mail you a couple of stickers. If you want to trade, you can mail some stickers to me at that same address and when I receive them, I will be happy to reciprocate. So thanks to all those that sent me stickers. We'll get those on the sticker cabinet and stay tuned uh, over the next couple of weeks for something regarding the woodworking show. Again, if you live anywhere near one of these woodworking shows, especially one where the video woodworkers are going to, to be present, I highly recommend you take the time to drive or if you can uh, fly there. It's a great opportunity to meet some really amazing people. Uh, I'll never forget the, uh, the time that I had and, and the interaction that I had and I look forward to seeing some of those folks in the future. So that's about all I have this week. Um, hoping to spend some time out here in the shop this week and start get rolling on some new things that I'm trying to get done, trying to get accomplished. But uh, thank Oh yeah, so one more thing. I also took a bunch of t-shirts with me to Atlanta and I did uh, sell a few to some of the folks that were there as well as some of the content creators. A couple, few of them purchased uh, a shirt from me and some of them we traded shirt so the shirt that I'm wearing today is one of Douglas uh, Douglas's shirts from retro weld and so uh, Douglas agreed to swap shirts with me so I've got to make him one up in his size and mail it out to him so thanks Douglas I appreciate it I love this shirt it's a great shirt and uh, next week I'll have another one from one of the content creators that I traded with so stay uh, tuned thanks again for watching if you like this update give me a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button. I'll have more shop projects and organization type projects coming out on my channel this year. So thank you so much for the support. Hope you guys have a great week in the shop and let's roll the sticker music. Thanks for watching.